You're listening to the Ask Drone You podcast. You ask, we answer your drone questions. Whether you're here to turn your passion into profit or you simply fly for fun, we're a community of learners and teachers who aspire to achieve greatness. We are Drone You. Hey everyone, and welcome to another edition of the Ask a Drone You podcast. My name is Paul. And my name is Rob. Super excited to be here with you again. Um, <laughs> we have the office puppy in here today, which is always a pleasure. I'm sure she'll be laying down here to rest very, very shortly. But mm -hmm. uh, really, really thankful that you guys are hanging out with us. Really, really thankful for those of you who send in questions. Take a couple minutes to hop on there, click the record button, and tell us what's on your mind. Ask us what's on your mind. And if you haven't done that, um, please do. Ask DroneU.com. We want to hear from you. We love hearing from you. Definitely, we do. And as coronavirus cases have increased and the media attention has also increased uh, regarding that, we are seeing increased shutdowns across the West. And for a lot of our followers who are not in the West, uh, it's probably not affecting you yet, but it's causing a lot of people to ask the question, well, if things are shut down, well, how am I going to renew my Part 107 certificate? Which is a great question. And in fact, we had actually answered that question previously in an article back in April explaining the step-by-step -step process of exactly how to renew your 107 certificate because the CATS centers, well, they're closed. And now that they're closed again, a lot of pilots who even some of them had done the online renewal are now asking, well, the uh, period to renew online technically expired according to the FAA order. So what do we do now? Well, Rob and I, uh, unfortunately, the person who asked this question was in person last Saturday, uh, Peter, who was here, and uh, did not record it because he's concerned that he may come off as aggressive. Shocker. Um, <laughs> There's no doubt he would. <laughs> <laughs> love you, Peter. We love you, buddy. Uh, anyway, so um, as someone who renewed online myself uh, through the online portal, I was aware that I think it was either the end of September or the end of October that you that was the limit in which that you could renew online through their online system. After that point, they were expecting things to get back to normal. So is there a new FAA order directing pilots what to do. Um, as of right now, there is not an order. Should we be expecting one to come? Well, as states are revisiting shutdowns, we would imagine that the FAA and the safety team would probably revisit the order as well. But uh, for a lot of people, there's still a, a gray area. Uh, the area, what would you call that? When you're in limbo. Mm -hmm. You're in limbo. Yeah, because we've got people that are, I mean, it's daily. <laughs> daily there are people that need to renew, right? So it's a rolling thing, fiscally rolling thing. And so there are people in the next week, two weeks, month, however long this thing is going to go on, that are going to re need to renew. So what do they do? Well, and this was pretty much the question that you had asked. And I was like, well, Rob, I don't think that there's any new directives out there as far as what you should do. But if I were a pilot, this is what I would do. Yeah. And I think that this is actually still the right way to go. Albeit, we are expecting the FAA to come out with new directives, probably, probably by the end of the year, to uh, tell drone pilots exactly what to do. But remember, the FAA, as every drone pilot knows, is very reactionary, which means things have to happen for them to do something about it. So, well, I would say something's happened. It's I agree. this little thing called the COVID-19. <laughs> oh, it's, it's this other little thing called lockdowns. <laughs> yeah. Um, anyway, long story. <laughs> yeah, yeah anyway. I got nothing. Uh, uh, yeah. Uh, anyway, long story short is we reached out to one of the FAA. I don't even know her, his title. You're not going to know who it is. Um, it's an it. Uh, <laughs> we reached out and Pat. we asked, uh, you know, hey, are, should we be expecting new directives? Long story short is they haven't made one yet, but we should expect to expect them to make one. So what do you do in the meantime? If you're a legal eagle and 
you want to follow the laws to a T so that your insurance provider will actually insure you. Well, step one, they actually have to know what they're insuring, which most don't. So should be okay. Uh, number two is, is as a legal eagle to get insured, to get claims covered, you will have to have an up-to-date part 107. What I recommend, the practical thing to do, just like I explained in the article from April, which we'll tag here, you should still probably just go through the online system. Just complete the online recurrency exam. That way, if something did happen to you, at least you can say, look, there was currently no FAA directive at the time. I still went online and renewed my license. Then there was no instructions of what to do, et cetera, but I got it done. Okay, what does that do? Let's say that you do have an emergency. Let's say you do have a crash. It showcases intent, that you intended to stay legal, which in the court of law, you could argue against an insurance firm all day long. So that being said, if your license is up for renewal, but you're not sure how to renew it, your cat's centers are closed like ours are, uh, well then... Just go online, follow the instructions in the article, renew your license through the online exam, and when we get the directives from the FAA as far as what to do, chances are they're going to tell you to renew online, and chances are you're already going to be current. So for those of you who are wondering, that's what we recommend is go online, follow the instructions from our article in April of this year regarding Part 107. Uh, this is the up-to-date initiative as of... Wow, November, is it really 17th? Mm -hmm. November 17th, so... I'm looking for that link so I can put it on the... We can put it in the show notes just in case people do want to go back to that article and follow the steps. So are we... Do we know for sure that that portal is still open and available? That's the FAST portal. Um, it's the portal for if you're a FAST member, you would go through your continuing education anyway. So they use an existing system to allow drone pilots to take advantage of it. Gotcha. I would imagine that the system is still there. Okay. Yeah. Makes sense. So, cool. Anyway. Yeah. So it makes sense to take the time, go do it online, even though that's not the, uh, I guess the legal legally mandated way at this particular juncture, mm. but that's the only way at this particular juncture. Yes, that's also correct. All right. Well, so there you have it. In an effort to continue flying and be commercially viable and have insurance still cover me, that's what I would do. Mm -hmm. So anyway, that's going to do it for us today. I definitely appreciate your time with us. If you have a question, go to askadroni.com. Don't miss the next episode. We're going we're gonna to cause some controversy. So enjoy. <laughs> My name is Paul. My name is Rob. This is Ask Drone You. <laughs> <laughs>